guys, Casual Savage here. And in this video, I'm showing you how to do a pop out effect in Vegas Pro 14. So, on screen right now is the raw footage of the video you saw at the start. So, I'll play it from the beginning. What's going on, guys? Casual Savage here. So, after I said Casual Savage, I took a pause. And the reason for that is because we're going to be taking a snapshot. Usually, when I say an intro, I just say it completely the way through. I never pause. But you'll see after this pause, I then finish off. And in this video, I'm showing you how to do a pop out effect in Vegas Pro 14. So that is how it looks and uh, the sound quality is bad because that is from the uh, camcorder itself. But yeah, to do this is very simple and let's get into it. So I took a pause here. Of course, you don't have to. This is just how I prefer to do it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the part where I stop talking and we're going to take a snapshot. So let's find it. Savage here. Right there. I'm then going to press S on my keyboard right here. And we can trim this down so we can match it back up to where we start talking again. And we can drag this off to the side. Now, for this first clip, we're going to go back one keyframe by pressing the left arrow on your keyboard. Make sure this is set to best and full. Then what you want to do is select save snapshot to file. After you saved it, you'll see it will appear in your projects media. So now I'm going to drag and drop this on. And I'm going to drag and drop this onto another video track. I'm then going to press Control C, Control V to paste this underneath. Now, for the top one, what we're going to do is head over to the event pan and crop. And for this, we will need to be masking. So I'm going to select the masking tool and I'm going to simply zoom into myself like so. And now we're going to select the anchor creation tool. And with this, all we're going to do, left click. And as you'll see, a yellow point will be laid out each time. And each time a yellow point's laid out, we have to click further on and we have to go around ourselves like so. Try and be as accurate as possible. And of course, any errors you make, you can fix them after. Okay, so you can see I've got back to the bottom over here. So I started from the bottom left. I went all the way around myself. And now the final thing you need to do is link back up. So you want to come over to the first dot you created. And as you'll see, all the dots should highlight in yellow. Then simply left click. If it doesn't do that, then you've made a mistake. So I'm going to X out of this. And I'm actually going to mute the track below. And as you'll see, this will now show our mistakes. So I messed up on the top left of the head here and of course the shoulder here. So all we're going to do, open the masking tool again. I'm going to make it smaller this time. And all I'm going to do is find the part by coming to normal edit tool, left clicking up here. And I'm going to simply come to the parts that are messed up, left click here. And as you see, drag in the dots and it's in real time over here so you can see what you are doing and if it is being fixed. And there we go, that is now better. We do have a bit of white, but it won't get in the way of anything else. We can now unmute this track. And the next thing we're gonna do is add some effects to the track below. So for this, we're gonna head over to video effects. If you don't see it, and simply come to view, windows layout, and select default layout. Now from video effects, there is a ton of different things you can add. The first thing I'm gonna add is, let's see, I will add a, Black and white, let's go with black and white. So I'm gonna drag and drop black and white. So now the background's black and white, of course I stay in color. Then I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur, which is gonna blur out the background. I'm gonna add a medium blur. As you'll see, it gives us that effect. And then, um, let's see, I don't think I actually wanna add anything else for now. So I will leave that the same. So the next thing I'm gonna create is the pop out effect. So to do this, I'm gonna be using the track motion. Now make sure sync cursor is checked and right at the start of the clip here, just lay down a keyframe at the default way it is. Now here is your time. If you come across, you'll see this is telling you how long it'll take for the pop out to be completed. Now you don't want it too long because then it's going to come out really slow. So I'm going to make it come out like this. I'm going to make sure lock aspect ratio is checked and also scale about center. I'm then going to enlarge the image like so. Now if I X out of this, this is what we have. I'll just turn this down to preview and auto. And this is what we currently have. Savage here. You'll see that is what we have and it's going to stay there. The next thing I'm going to do is add some text. So maybe here in the bottom right. So I'm going to right click, insert another video track. For this, I will be adding text directly from Vegas Pro 14. So we need to head over to media generators, come all the way down and select legacy text and select one with a checkered background. If it has a checkered background, it means there's gonna be no background to that text. So I'm gonna add on soft shadow and I'm gonna type here, casual savage. I'm gonna press control A. I'm gonna put it smaller to about size 30. I'm gonna leave it as white. I'm gonna put the outline as a black here. I'm gonna turn the feather low and put the width up. And now I'm going to simply position this to where I want it, which is gonna be at the bottom right here. 
Now I'm going to split it here. So once the clip ends, the text also ends as well. I'm then going to right click insert another video track and underneath this, I will put, uh, since I'm on 49,000 subscribers, I'll put 49,000 subscribers. Press control A and I'll put this to about size 25. And again, I'm going to add an effect, a stroke. Um, the feather will be turned off. The width will go up a bit. And of course I want this black. And for this, I will change the color to maybe like a cyan and now again track motion i'm going to position this underneath the casual savage text here just like that so i can now x out of it again split the ends delete and now we need to add some transitions to the text so for this we need to head over to transitions and i am going to be using a slide so it's right here and i want it to slide in from the right to the left so i'm going to drag and drop this on both of them x out of this drag and drop this on here. And what I want is a bit of de a delay. And I also want the text to start coming on screen as I am popping out. So like here, I want it to start. So I'm going to drag both of the text back like so. And another thing I want to do is offset the 49,000 subscribers. So casual savage will be displayed first and then the subscriber count will be displayed a little bit later. So I'll just drag it off to the side like here. Now, trim it down again uh, to here. And this is now what we currently have. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. That is what we're gonna have. And of course it is on quite a bit long, so. Here. And I'm gonna cut this out right to here, so it's not gonna stay on screen too long. And then I'm also gonna put this back. So now this is the final thing completed. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. And in this video, let me show you how And to it do goes back to normal, just like that. Now, another thing you can do, instead of adding a black and white, for example, if I take the black and white off, but I'm going to keep that blur because I think it looks good, head over to video effects, come down to glow. And for example, let's add a blue glow onto that bottom track. As you'll see, it gives us a blue background. We can also change it to any color we want to. So for example, a blue now. And of course, it goes with the blue text we picked at the start. And this is the final thing completed. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here. And in this video, let me show you how to do a pop out effect in Vegas Pro 14. And that is how simple it is to do. And of course, for those that do have Photoshop, you can uh, take a snapshot and mask out yourself in Photoshop. I just wanted to keep this tutorial all in Vegas for you. And if you do want a tutorial on how to do it in Photoshop and uh, Vegas Pro 14, let me know and I will do that for you. And that way is probably easier. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Wait. Um, peace.